this process is something I've just loved for years and years and years because it combines everything I learned about hypnotherapy and kind of the subconscious and the power of images, which I love, love, love. And it combines it with the energy system. So we're going to be using tapping because that's how I learned it. But you can also do it with um, just the governing meridian if you're more comfortable and you don't have to know tapping. I'll guide you through it. So images, um, the reason this is so powerful is because our whole subconscious knows what an image is, right? It really is true. A picture is worth a thousand words and we can just bypass the the left brain the conscious mind and go right go right to the heart of things which is i i feel like that's the power of energy it's like let's just go to the heart of things and change and to me this this process really does it on to the images so we are doing images that are not real drawings so they can be doodles um, I have kind of, I gathered kind of a lot of information. I'm not going to go thoroughly into this. So there's two different methods. There's picture tapping and there's doodle tapping. And we're kind of kind of do a combination of the two. So we use meridian tapping along with the power of metaphor to release the problems in a painless and indirect way. Actually, I did this with one man <laughs> back in Connecticut. And he said, that thing that you did helped me more than years of therapy. And uh, he didn't really want to talk about anything. So it's, it's a great process for that. No artistic ability required. Children love to do this. It's really good. If you have any children you're working with, um, or if there's something you don't want to talk about, or they don't want to talk about it, because there's no talking about it and you don't have to draw a picture of it we're drawing a picture of how it feels which is a totally different thing this is just from the picture tapping technique website physical problems so it'll be really interesting to see what we all try it on emotional anything that I'm angry about um success my job I think we should all try it on whatever you wrote in about, but you can you can pick a different thing if you want. It this is true. It's really helpful when you've already done a lot of thinking or talking about something, right? Because we're up here kind of at the surface level and we want to go under that and go to the subconscious of it. Don't be put off by the idea of drawing pictures. We're not looking for art. If you can draw a scribble on a page, you can do this. And that is true. So why, again, why does this work? It's because we're, we're feeling these emotions and we're kind of putting them on paper, right? And I think these are good, like just a scribble or dots or like whatever you feel. Thank you.